been bat low. I got myself a new bike, so can't help myself. I'm going to go for a ride. We're going to camp out in uh, Bago State Forest. Pat's going to drive the car through because he tells me he doesn't ride bikes, just fishes. I'm not riding a bike, no thanks, said Pat. So I'm driving. We'll get him on a bike. <laughs> not today. Not today. Hey. Sweet ride. <laughs> These hoods are great. Look at that. Hey, mate. So, what I'm riding on today is a Surly Krampus. They're set up as a 29 Plus. Ian from Bike Revive and Schumann built this up for me. It's nice to be able to buy this sort of bike locally. Three inch tyres on the front, nice and wide. Rigid front forks. Been used to riding dual suspensions and front suspensions for a lot of years, so I'd be really interested to see how this goes on the gravel. Batlow copped it pretty hard in the bushfires, 2019, 2020. All this area that I'm riding through today was all burnt. Great to see new houses, new orchards, and just the bush really recovering. So, just got on the dirt, uh, just left Chris down in Batlow, head up to Paddy's River, start fishing. Hopefully, we can uh, get onto a couple, but maybe Karma might have got me from throwing. Throwing a bit to Chris. What happened to 60k an hour, Chris? Uh, yeah, not. <laughs> we'll see how we get on. Come on, Chris! You should be running <laughs> along beside me. Go! <laughs> Boot. I'm going to stop and have a break at the Pilot Hill Arboretum. I believe it's something like a hundred years ago they planted a whole bunch of different pine trees up here to see what worked. Pretty lucky to have most of the big old pines survive. And, um, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty little spot. I was thinking about as I rode along before, when my grandfather was sort of 16, he was growing up in Melbourne, and I know he used to ride his push bike out from Melbourne out into the, into the Dandenong Ranges and go camping and hunting and things and the bikes weren't particularly fancy then you know skinny tires tubes no gears you know we ride along on big fat tires with disc brakes and you know this has got 12 gears even with the lack of a front fork downhill's pretty comfortable we tend to think of bike packing as a pretty modern invention i, I suppose that pure leisure activity of bike packing, maybe that is. Um, it's us trying to keep in touch with our rural selves. But, you know, the act of it, you know, jumping on your push bike with a bit of gear has been around for almost as long as the push bike. You know, for a hundred years, people have been putting a little bit of gear on the back of a bike and, and riding out into the wilderness. It's a nice way to travel.
So I've ridden a bit over 30 k's today. What I'm really hoping is that Pat's caught over 30 fish. We'll have to see how we go. I just had my first little bit of downhill. Oh, so nice. Now I'm going up a hill again. Not so nice. Wouldn't have a clue how this thing goes together, to be honest. I think I got an extra pole. Well, hello there. I did make it. How'd you go? Well, I'm hoping that you caught 30 fish. I definitely did not. You weren't wrong about the mud down here. Straight to the, straight to the chassis. <laughs> I, was, I was up to my waist. Did you bring a change of clothes? Nah. You've got a whole vehicle and not a change of clothes. Nah, it's fine though. <laughs> Thank you, Pat. Well earned. Good work, Chris. You know, I think everybody should ride in somewhere to mm. appreciate how much up and downhill there actually is. Well, I drove in and I also appreciated up how up and down it was. But I do Truly need to... Truly appreciate it. Exactly right. Thank you. Cheers. Uh, uh. Yes! Woohoo! Nice! After falling in the water, getting stuck in quicksand, refusing a streamer, the Royal Wolf got it done. Beautiful little brownie up here at Paddy's River Dam. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that was so insane, man. Two wheels versus four. Thankfully, Pat drove in. Uh, we'll get him on two wheels at some stage. It feels like it's going to cool off tonight, so it'll be quite nice to have the fire. I do have my freeze dried food, so we'll have to see how committed to the cause that I remain. When you see these steak sandwiches, Chris, you're not going to know yourself. Yeah, I think a couple of hundred grams of steak could be quite nice. <laughs> it's a lovely spot, Paddy's River Dam. It's um, starting to look nice in the afternoon light. I've brought along the um, flameproof inner for this tarp. It's chilled off a little bit since the sun's popped behind the tree line. A bit of a breeze too, just keep things nice and chilly. Bike packing, car packing. <laughs> yeah. Is it looking good at this point, Chris, or is this looking good? I think that that um, yeah, exactly right. steak is looking way, way better. Now, owning a outdoor store, Chris, are you going to say that freeze-dried meals are not that tasty? <laughs> On the spot. <laughs> I actually think. So here's my. Oh, here we go. Uh, my learned opinion is these taste amazing if you've earned it. I would agree with that. You don't want any greens or mushies, Chris? I've got plenty. I've, I've earned just eating steak and bread. Righto. Get caveman. <laughs> Look at that fat steak sandwich right there. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Nice. Hard earned after a long day's riding right there. I can say that a steak sandwich at the end of a bike pack, or halfway through a bike pack, is actually a very enjoyable thing. So, Pat's nearly got me convinced to <laughs> stick to the car. But nearly. Oh, it was such an enjoyable ride. Like I, yeah, it would have been, yeah. There was times where it was a little bit tough coming up the hill, but it was also just like back to basics. No, it's been a cracker of a day. With the uh, with the surprise little brownie, um, mm. nice ride into the to Paddy's River from Chris, and uh, and a cracking campsite to finish. So we'll hook into a bit of dinner, and we'll catch you in the morning. <laughs>
Ah, oh, that's what we need. It's about four degrees overnight. I was a bit surprised at how cold it was. We've got a bit of a ride this morning down to Tumba, about 20k. There's a reasonable amount of downhill, which I'm looking forward to. Um, but I think Pat will win the race to town well and truly. Um, Tumba Bakery's calling my name. I've got to yeah. get there. Your breakfast. I've had my <laughs> porridge, so... Let the race begin. Hey mate, let the bakery. Bit of a leg is warming up. <laughs> Managed to find your way here. Quite easily sat now, mate. See, how'd you go? Yeah. Rolled in nicely. Oh, I got your little son. Oh, did you give me a pie? Finished up here at the park. Chris on the bike, me in the car. Been absolutely cracking a couple of days. Page River Dam, now here in Tumba. I still take the car over the bike, mate. <laughs> <laughs> 